Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Horror. And what is Garbage Horror exactly? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> so why do we do this? Well, we're doing this to celebrate those filmmakers, the actors, the directors, the writers that are taking the risk, going out there, mortgaging their houses, and making the films that have been dancing in their heads for far too long. So we could do this. Yes, basically. We Hold don't on. want to, but we, we could. <laughs> a lot of these films, yes, we could. <laughs> The basic idea is there's a lot of filmmakers out there that are doing these very interesting horror films for ultra low budgets. And by ultra low, for the record, we're talking anything below what we would think of as a Hollywood budget. That could be anything from a couple million dollars down to the value of your Volvo. <laughs> it could be just about anything. But the idea is that these are super low budget movies that usually aren't taking themselves too seriously. They're, yeah. they're coming at it from a more... Uh, self-aware angle if you will yes yes they are and um we like those the when the characters you know the actors and actresses they look like they're having mm -hmm. fun if you can tell that they're enjoying it you're gonna enjoy it yeah. it's whenever people try to take these low budget films seriously that you get into trouble yeah i mean movies like you know we, we read cottontail was the first one we did right that was an interesting case study because Everyone in front of the camera, behind the camera, around the camera, anywhere near the lot was having the time of their life with that movie. Right. It was never meant to be a serious film. No. Everyone was stifling laughter. The acting was terrible. The writing was wooden. But it was still so much fun to watch because they were having so much fun. Right. You couldn't help but get caught up in their joy. And that's one of the powerful things about these movies. You don't get that in Hollywood blockbusters. You don't no. get that joy of, oh, wow, Robert De Niro is really loving this role. <laughs> No, you don't, and um, you also don't get it in ones where people know they're they're going to make money, mm -hmm. like Ubi Bowl. Oh, let's not even go there yet. We're yeah. we're way too early in this series, and I've not had enough alcohol. <laughs> well, luckily he's not in our genre, so for the most part, <laughs> God helps if we do Alone in the Dark. <laughs> let's not. Um, <laughs> anyway, but, but no. But we also come at this from the angle as cinemasochists, as yeah. a term we've developed for this. Right. And a cinemasochist is a two-part term, cine, being so cinema, movies. film, movies, right. television, etc., and masochist, of course, being one who enjoys pain. So we enjoy giving pain to ourselves or torturing pain with others? Both. <laughs> we do not discriminate. <laughs> <laughs> we like to give pain equally. And that's kind of one of the elements of this is because there are good, bad movies. Yes, there are. There are very enjoyable bad movies. And we talk a lot of times about the uh, the uncanny valley of bad movies, as we refer right. to it jokingly. Uh, the, but the basic concept is you have you know very, very good movies, and then you have bad, good movies that come down here, and then mm -hmm. it comes back up until you have good, bad movies, and then it drops off the face of the earth and you wind up in student cinema and... Stuff like yeah. that. We're trying to find stuff on this you know, mountain here, and that's a very awkward hand motion. Right. Um, but that's where we're hunting for our movies at. Yeah. So, all in all, we're trying to reward those directors who are taking risks, doing some exciting things in the genres, having fun making films, bringing right. the joy back into cinema, especially horror cinema. And, and doing some groundbreaking things as yes, well. Yes, I know, indeed. A lot of these movies, and we've talked about this in the past, but a lot of movies we think of as staples of the horror genre right. started out as garbage horrors. Yeah. Night of the Living Dead, the quintessential example of this. Shot super low budget, done basically shoestring all the way. Mm -hmm. The Romero zombie is now the stock and trade of the zombie flick. It set the entire modern zombie genre. Yeah, and that movie holds up today as yeah. one of the greatest zombie flicks out there. I know, and we're trying to find the next Night of the Living Dead in a lot of ways. We're hunting for those movies that are going to be that are revolutionary or changing the game, but maybe slipped under the radar somehow. Yeah. So I think that summarizes it pretty well. Yeah. Well, on that note, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And that is what Garbage Horror is all about, we think. Maybe. Maybe. Kind of. Sort of. We're not, don't hold us to this. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs>